today we're going to be showing you guys how to build one of the easiest high voltage power supplies that I think I've ever come across out of just one of these old CRT TVs. So, first you're going to want to make sure that your power is turned off. Next, you're going to want to go to the battery. And by the way, it needs to be on any of these TVs that you find that are these thick ones. Uh, you can find them all over the place. I see them in trash cans, dumpsters, all the time. As I go by, ah, there's quite a bit of useful pieces in them. So, on the back of the TV there are going to be screws in these places, and you're going to want to take all those off so you can take off the back shell of it. Alright, so this next part is very important to keep yourself safe. Um, you'll find a red thick wire, like this one right here, leading to a suction cup in the glass part. You're going to want to get needle nose pliers, grab the suction cup, stick the ground wire underneath like this to make sure that it's discharged in here, since this thing does retain a charge, it has capacitors. Then you're going to want to grab the suction cup, squeeze, and pull it out just like that. It will easily come disconnected. You can always put it back in, but then you'll have the suction cup right here. Alright, so that's everything. As you can see, when I hit the power button to the TV, the high voltage will activate. You can see you can get a good, nice stream. Now with this project, as with other projects, it's very important to note to be safe as you're working. Because these arcs are lethal, it's a high amount of current, and you'll have a bad day if you shock yourself with it. Now, you can do it just as I did the first time I did it, and you can make a hole in the frame of the case, and then just run a wire, run the thick wire out here, and you can run that wire going out of the case, so that it is easy to access in a moment. Though this power supply is very, very simple for someone who's just starting off with electronics, it's not that great due to the fact that it can shut off if it draws too much current for a period of time, like this. See? How it shuts off like that? That's because of the circuits inside the TV, for safety reasons. Um, so for that reason, it's not a great thing to use to power something, but it's good for like a week or so, just for fun to play around with, because it's high voltage and high voltage is fun. The best part about this project is that it's going to help you get used to dealing with high voltage pretty quickly. Another great thing about this is that when you get bored of this, there's a number of things you can do. Um, in the next week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an oscilloscope just from this setup here. But then also, if you go back to the taser gloves video, it's going to show you how to basically build a taser glove, or that's basically a high voltage power supply that's constant, unlike this one, out of pieces from this, namely speaking, that flyback transformer right there, if you can see in the video. And be safe and have a wonderful day.